Well, time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Tax filing season is underway. Well, whether you decide to use a tax preparer or do it yourself, problem solver Susan Hogan has advice on how to make sure you're getting the maximum out of your refund. Susan joins us now with the details. Well, if you are getting a refund, yay for you. Let's make sure you are not leaving anything out. There are a lot of tax credits this year that you may not be aware of until now. If you're filing online, most software programs walk you through the process step by step. But unless you're aware of certain tax credits, you may be missing out. A savers credit. Now this credit helps low and moderate income workers save for retirement. This helps offset part of the first $2,000 you voluntarily contribute to IRAs and 401k plans. Eligible workers have until April 15th to contribute or add money to an existing account. Earned income tax credit is a credit for low income working individuals and families. This credit can provide thousands of dollars in refunds. Many volunteer sites will help determine if you qualify and file the return for free. Education credits for higher education, it includes tuition and fees, room and board, books, and even transportation. Child and dependent care credit for child care or dependent expenses you pay during the year. Adoption credit, you can receive a tax credit for expenses paid to adopt a child. And energy credit for making energy efficient improvements to your home. Now we have a lot more information regarding this year's tax filing season. Just log on to WPRI.com. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.